Okay, so what we did here is we took a desktop av aviator trim wheel, 2707 I believe is the model number, and I modified it to work with the rotary encoder from the GoFlight uh, LGT. So what is I did, what I did was I took all the, or I didn't take it, I had a guy do it for me, but electronics guy, he took the boards and the rotary encoder off the uh, GoFlight, right there and he put everything uh, back onto here actually using the go flight wheel as a centering point for the desktop aviator wheel and use the bracket even off the go flight he just took the spot welds off and tied that in it looks like it's going to work just great because the go flight wheel works great on my simulator the desktop aviator one although a very nice nicely built product uh, doesn't work very well if it was it did have on it this one turn potentiometer right here uh, and it's only one turn uh, which I didn't like and uh, it also didn't work very well uh, play very well with the Cessna autopilot uh, from the X-Plane 11 C172 so these are all the old parts from the desktop aviator um, trim wheel 2707 all these parts that are on this trim wheel now are all the GoFlight LGT. This used to be the, the uh, flaps up and down button, not you need that anymore. This piece right here, this was the flaps up and down. This was the, this was the, uh, the switch right here was the um, landing gear, but I'm going to take that out. I really don't need that. I've got another switch that I put in there for my uh, instrument lights that, uh, that will go in that hole. And these, all, all I really want is the trim wheel off of this, but it looks like it's going to be real nice. It actually still has, I can feel the indents from the uh, rotary encoder uh, as, it, as it turns. And it's a continuous turn. It's not just a one turn anymore. <clears throat> and, and I know that this board all works. Uh, with X-Plane uh, using Sandy Barber's plugin, so it should just recognize it as that. And then I'll uh, uh, be able to have my autopilot and a nice smooth operating uh, continuous trim wheel. Anyway, that's it. I hope that helps somebody if they're having the same issues I had.